Hi Josephine, I just think, thought that it would be a lot easier just to show you how to do it in a video here for uh, choose an image size and, and pixel size. So what you'll do is you go to File, New in Photoshop there, and I want a six a width of 626 pixels and I want a height of 1000 pixels. Now my resolution, a computer monitor can only t show 72 dots per square inch, but I get a more brilliant color if I go about 300 and then I'll resize it down uh, whenever I export the image out of uh, Photoshop. So I'll select OK and here I have my canvas to work on. First thing I want to do is unlock that layer and click OK and then we could do anything we want with the uh, the tools uh, you know as far as you know dropping in color or, or whatnot but uh, after we get done uh, creating all of our artwork and whatnot here let me uh, do something in blue here so we create our artwork okay whatever bring in pictures photos or whatever we'll go to file save for web just like that and uh, here we can select PNG JPEG GIF so if we want a JPEG we go like that and select our settings usually high uh, high quality um, you can adjust your quality here as well you know maximum quality so on and so forth here you have optimized and uh, if you wanted to resize it uh, and let's say that you wanted it uh, to be a square image you could you'd have to unlink these layers and adjust the size like that but let's say that I wanted my my biggest size to be 500 pixels so I go 500 pixels here now if you wanted that image to be square or another size you know it's best to do it whenever you're first making it but then you would click save and you know add it to we'll add this just to the desktop just say test like that and uh, so now it'll be on my desktop somewhere and here it is in uh, the JPEG format let me hit preview here so you can see it so now I kinda got a an image now let's say that we had gotten this image somewhere maybe off of our camera and it was like this rectangle shape but uh, we didn't want our image to be distorted we wanted this to be square right so what we would do is uh, we would go file new once again and now this time let's make it a square image 500 pixels by 500 pixels and this is like if we're bringing in a photograph in in Photoshop and we want to make it square so we'll click click it like that now I'll drag and I'll drop this test image right here okay now my concern is I don't want this to be stretched or distorted whenever I upload it to my site I want it to look square, but I don't want the image to look distorted, and the settings on my site are going to keep it 500 by 500 pixels. So I'm just going to place the image there, just like that, by hitting the Place tool, okay? And then my background, what I'm going to do with my background is I'm going to unlock it, and I'm going to fill it in with the black color, okay? So let me go ahead and get my black, all right? And so fill in. All right, so now you notice the black is a little bit off, so I want to redo, redo my black. I want that color right there, and I'll fill in the black color, and now the image is square. So then I'll go File, uh, Save for Web, and uh, now I have my square image. Notice it's 500 by 500 pixels. I could click Save. I'll save it as Test 2, just like that. I'll overwrite the Test 2 that I have on there. And now, if I preview the image, you can see I have a nice square, and I wasn't, I'm wasn't. i not going to distort my image because it's perfectly square. So that's how easy it is to resize images in Photoshop. I hope this tutorial was able to help you with that. Uh, don't hesitate to call contact me if you have any concerns. Thanks.